Hello, and welcome to another new running cast. As always, my name is Johnny, and I'm joined by Joey. How's it going, Joey? Not too bad. Am I going to get an as always soon? Eventually, as always? Yeah, as I'm always. Joined I'm joined by Joey. Joey. Uh, and in this game, uh, this is a taster we had from our GNK we ran in March, this is a little while ago now. And I will attempt to remain neutral as I uh, introduce on the left hand side the bold, handsome John O'Brien from Reading. And on the right hand <laughs> side we have Dave Sayer from All the Shop, the villain of the piece. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is me on the left playing uh, NEH, and on the right, Dave is playing Kate. So, now if you sat down across from Dave, yeah. And he was playing Kate. Yeah. Or what Hayley. would you expect? <laughs> or Haley or anything? Not very many runs. And yes. uh, one really, really big turn. Yeah, so um, <laughs> my my expectation straight away was that this would be uh, the classic diaper that uh, Dave does love to run. Uh, which builds up for the 13 click turn with all nighters and hyperdrivers and goes a bit loco with um, keyholes and mediums and that kind of stuff. So we've seen it a couple of times and builds like it. Um, so, first time for me to install, you can see I've got a couple of agendas in HQ, and yet still installing Multiplast and R&D. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting, because he changes his strategy quite a lot. I know he checks for Jacksons now, yes. um, so he and checks for sneaking out agendas, Yeah. Um, but and he does try and pip a few early agendas, sometimes he'll pop one DDoS he to, to, HQ. Get a, to get a... Yeah, he could have done that early. Um, it's also, like... I think we sort of realised it's not worth trying to lock him out of R&D. No, you just want to make it hard. But yeah. you, want to, you want to put it off so that he needs all the pieces. Yeah. Um, I believe it was Dave Edmonton from All The Shot, a frequent opponent of Dave's, um, who discovered that six ice on R&D is uh, just about the right level to make it almost impossible to get in. He still can. Yeah, so you're but, asking yeah. for him to go for the full level of... He has to get every the piece. full number of yeah. full echoes, the full number of... Um, Clone chips, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so let's uh, explain very quickly then what Dave's going to be trying to do here. He is going to use hyperdrivers and all-nighters to have an incredibly big turn. Between 13 and 16. Correct? Yes, he's going to use DDoS to prevent uh, the corp raising the outermost piece of ice and use false echo and clone chip false echoes to return ice to HQ um, until eventually there is only one piece of ice on the server R&D in this case that he wants to attack and then it can never be raised and none of the ice can be raised yeah, for um, the whole turn for the whole turn that's it the whole turn which is many many clicks long yeah. um, and then uh, keyhole medium these are good cards yeah. stacks so he, he keyhole runs about four or five times depending on the ID mm. um, and depending on the ID he either hits things like CVS and uh, Archangel yes, and Snare true. Or, if there's none of those pieces, he hits genders. Yeah. And then, after about four or five keyhole runs, he's got five counters on medium, and then he starts medium running. Yeah. And then after each medium run, he'll Alternate, keyhole yeah. to force a shuffle, and then medium, and then keyhole, yeah. and then medium. And if that's it. It's gaining the medium counters and forcing yeah. the shuffling, which makes it so incredibly deadly. Um, yeah, you, you if yeah. you get that clean, like if, I think even if he gets eight runs at R&D like that, you yeah. almost guarantee a win. So Lepcon will help with... Uh, the incredible memory problems you can have with three hyperdrivers, <laughs> yeah. which of course each uh, require three memory. So, um, so let's talk about your strategy then. So you know you're playing this. Yeah. What's the best way to beat it? Um, I think the best strategy to beat it, uh, for any age at least, is to rush as yeah. fast as you can. It depends what you've got in your deck, obviously. If you if you're on uh, HP, you might um, try and score some accelerated beta tests, get some res dice on. R&D in particular. Always fire the ABT. Yeah, always, I mean, that's good advice anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if you've got Caprice in your deck, because you're on RP or ETF maybe, then you put uh, put one on R&D or even HQ. Yeah. Um, he might end up running HQ because he's recently started slotting Escher, which means even if you do get res dice, you yeah. can move it away to someone else. But you've put an upgrade um, in HQ now, which might be a CVS. Right? That is a CVS, yeah. yeah. So I think that that's... He's kind of checking remotes, and I like having CVSs around. Um, he is a shaper. He's almost certainly not running plot, but what if he is? Yeah. So I, um, Now, obviously, I still want to get on with my plan here, which is to score a bunch of agendas. So yeah, you need uh, to go really fast. Is, the CVS really. is important to me. So, But um, also, CVS can stop his turn. So, And he's not going to check it because it's behind ice, unless he uses a DDoS, which he doesn't want to at this but stage. On his big turn, he will run there and trash it. He will absolutely run yeah. there because, obviously, leaving a CVS around when you're doing keyhole medium stuff is a terrible idea. Yeah, uh, exactly. It, it blanks the medium. So if you can go fast enough, you can force him to do his turn with suboptimally. So he needs to get some pieces like DDoS, yes. Falseco, um, Keyhole and Medium, 
but he can do it with less hyperdrivers, mm. and he, he's been known to go with two or one hyperdriver because you you can go so fast. That's it. He he will um, he will go the turn before he thinks you're going to win. So yeah. he he will spend as long as he wants setting up. He'll just keep setting up, and when the corp is on five points or whatever, or has the advanced agenda in a remote, then he will um, fire his turn and he'll go for it. Um, there, uh, one way to play around it is actually to mislead him when that is. Uh, if you can score three points in one turn, as NH yeah. with team sponsorship chip and stuff, you can kind of dodge the turn. Uh, but yeah, so the faster you can go, the sooner he is forced to take his turn, and in theory, the less effective it is, because he might have to spend clicks, drawing or dieseling, whatever, to get the final pieces, or uh, he might have to deal with more ice than he's ready for, installing false echoes, whatever. Uh, yeah, so um, I mean, I I had. From what I remember, not um, an amazing draw in this game. I think so. A lot of econ, but I was kind of struggling with getting agendas. I haven't even scored yet. Um, yeah. So I was kind of struggling to actually get the first score. I'm going to get an Astro out, of course, so I could start changing things out. Um, yeah, you, you need to get a score. I uh, so early on, I put a piece of ice on archives, and I regret it actually because it, it's kind of irrelevant. I put two there. Um, it's because also he's going to run it on a DDoS turn. All so pieces of ice are equivalent in this deck. That's, the thing is, so that's like, the other thing, because yeah. no ice ever gets rezzed. All that matters is it's face down cards that sideways. Like it doesn't yes. matter what it is. You can put an Astro behind a pop up, and if he hasn't got the DDoS, he's not going to run next. Yeah, he won't let you rez ice. So, I th so for what it's worth, I think it was a special offer on archives. It doesn't really matter what it is. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Um, and I also think in this particular game, and generally I try to, I put a wraparound on the inside of R and D. Now in theory. The higher I can get that, he might be forced to let a piece of ice fire. So if I can make sure it is something that's going to stop him, then yeah. that's going to help. Yeah, if that um, turns out to be a special off on the inside, you're yeah, really it's upset. useless, right? Yeah. Um, now, in fact, the way Dave plays this is, he, as far as he's concerned, if the corp reses ice, then he's lost. <laughs> so yeah. that's he's not going to let that really happen. But um, no, he's, he, yeah. sometimes you force his hand though. So I'm uh, installing an advancing agenda and allowing. Dave to maybe bring in a clot and just give him the option. He knows I have CVS. That may or may not affect his decision. Um, <laughs> see what he does at the last possible moment. Uh, he's the time shift to get SMC and no more. So I guess he's trying to put me off. I don't know. Um, he, did, well, he just that was it. To SMC <laughs> yeah. and leaves it. That was it. Um, so fortunately, I can uh, uh, score the Astro yeah, well. and use the team. Well, this is it. So you can bring back many things. Jackson's good. Um, but you know he's oh no team installs things for free so using team to install ice team sponsorship to install ice and R&D right. is pretty legit as well um, yeah that is a good idea actually yeah because it's free so it saves you money and that's just forcing him to have another piece now that's it um, ideally I'd like to have more than one team sponsorship by now um, I do have double DVS I wonder as Dave if you think about trashing them the um, time though it costs clicks and money but, but you're just looking for money. Astro now so. that's it and yeah I draw three cards at a time and I all he knows, I already have a beard or something in hand, you know, so I can get an Astro and score. What you need the Sensi to go even quicker. <laughs> <laughs> well, that card didn't exist at this point, but right, yeah, it's yeah. good. It's good. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, so because it not only, it's like DBS, but you also draw more. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it, and so you and can, you bury stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're up to. Um, I want to say this is up to Calagoda. This Jink right. it might have been business first, uh, but, but at any rate, it wasn't. Um, Democracy Dog. So yeah. Um, so I like Bookmark actually in Dave's deck. It allows him to draw incredibly aggressively in decent and quality time. You know, in the same turn. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't really do its thing as well in this matchup, but in against Jinteki, it's giving its damage it's deck. Insane. He just like, hides all his important stuff on it. Yeah, he makes sure that none of the, the rest is damaged. None of the important pieces get picked out of his hand, and also. If he's gonna die to scorched earth or whatever, you can always just trash <laughs> bookmark to draw. Yeah, yeah. Like, if he's gonna lose in the game, that's true. Is it click and trash bookmark? Uh, it's click or trash actually. Or so trash. You, you can right. click to take the cards off it, or you can trash it. Right. To draw and the cards. Speed. He always does that because, as far as he's concerned, it's one use. Yeah. He just that means it up if, over if, a game. If yeah. you're gonna die during the corpse turn, might as well. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Was, like they advance a Ronin. Yeah. That's a Ronin. Seems good. Like, mine. Yeah. Um. So. Um, Looks like I'm able to get another agenda. Astro train, I think. Yeah, so, yeah, so, it's just, so it's just a breaking news. Yeah. Uh, I didn't use the Astro counter. Uh, it would have been nice to um, trash some stuff, but daily cost not really worth it. Um, no. And it, I basically just wanted to fire team. I think at this point. Yeah, and you need, and that's what the one point you need, right? So. Yeah, that's it. I need it anyway. 
Uh, although, um, yeah, so interestingly, having scored the breaking news, I've kind of now given up on the scoring going from four to seven strategy right. because keeping that in hand is really good. Because if I use a San San to score, the last, the, uh, the third agenda, I can team sponsorship the breaking and, and I have an Astrakhan sitting around. I can use a uh, team sponsorship and San San to score breaking news out of hand. So you're slowing down three hyper drivers. Yeah, so I know he's going to go soon. So uh, he, he actually needs... doesn't need to. He And now he can just. He, uh, he knows that I know what I'm facing, so he can just spend clicks on non-massive turns and stalling DDoS, and stalling... Uh, yeah, yeah, he doesn't need a high DDoS for me. And That's it. So um, he needs yeah. he needs one false echo and a Chrome Chip, or two false echoes. Uh, yes. And he needs to get his medium and his keyhole out. So he's got the Chrome Chip. The, presumably the medium and the keyhole are both on the bookmark. Seems reasonable. DDoS might be. Oh, I kind of assume it's not, actually. Uh, there might be one on there. I think he has two for the deck. Yeah. Um, See, against you, because I said, you know exactly what's happening, You can um, he can get those stuff down early. He doesn't have to... Because often he uses the first three clicks of his sort of super turn to install things like keyhole medium. And do this. Yeah. yeah. But sometimes he has to do because he doesn't get double leprechaun, and so he has memory issues. If he That's true, and he, do, he doesn't hit. This time he can just literally install them when he's got he them. He could absolutely install the keyhole on that leprechaun. No, like now. Not really. yeah. It's just like, whatever. He's checking... Uh, so now he's definitely wants to be aware of Jackson's. It's been a while since he checked remotes... Um, so I kind of get so to point out the obvious Jackson is incredibly good because it can shuffle in the agendas he finds if he doesn't trash them first so he all wants CBSs. to find them all first if he trashes all the CBSs with Keyhole and you shuffle them all back in again yes a CBS in the middle of a medium dig can be yeah. you do it when he's on a medium run not a Keyhole run yeah um, yeah that can really slow him down in the middle of her, his, his turn um, yeah so um I, yeah, I, I'm wondering what if at this point I feel like I'm ready as a trying to speak as a neutral now. I feel like I feel like three Arsenal and D is a little weak. He's got a clone ship. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a false echo in the bin by this point. At the very least, he's going to be able to install one soon. Um, it'd be nice if that was more. I forget what he installed with uh, team sponsorship from the breaking news, but it wasn't ice. Maybe it should have been. Installing um, Arsenal remote. Probably a Sansa. Yeah. So. Um, I honestly don't remember what the top end of this was. I think it was a Sansan. -San. I also think I wanted to protect it and I was also interested to see if I could draw out a DDoS maybe early because he's not about to go but he might. Yeah. Or I mean it could be a Jackson as far as he's concerned. It could be anything. Um, so the the question with the installing ice on R&D is does it slow him down more than it slows you down? Like it, he needs to get one more piece one more full cycle or clone yeah, chip. Yeah that's true. And but does it slow you down more? And I think if you're paying the three credits or four credits to install it it probably slows you down more. But if you can do it off team sponsorship, team sponsorship is different. Yeah, 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 you're probably right. So, and that's why I mean I don't have a lot of money anyway, but um, that's probably why I don't want to just spend clicks installing ice there. Uh, but doing it with team sponsorship is different. That's a false echo. So we've got a false echo going down as well. Um, so let's see. So as you say, false echo and one clone chip is enough with a DDoS to get into R and D without no ice being raised. Um, uh, so he's now got two all martyrs down as well. So uh, I think at this point in time, uh, Dave's obviously made lots of iterations on this deck. I think this was uh, the maximum number of clicks he could get: three hard drives and two all martyrs. Yeah, so uh, he's kind of he had three for a while. I think we're down to two to fit in other good bits. Yeah. Um, Things like um, the one that notoriety and stuff. Like <coughs> notoriety, really yeah, it's mean. very good, yeah. yeah. And uh, more recently, he's got some other wacky things in there, which I guess we shouldn't have old. Yeah, it's things not, are all not really, really ruined your bait, and I'm really <laughs> glad they didn't go up against it at the regional. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I I at least can be confident that when I next score an agenda, he's going to take his turn. So I feel like. I feel like maybe if you know that's the case, you should spend a few turns being ready. So maybe I do install a bunch of ice and R&D. The fact is, I'm quite poor. I can't afford all of it. But I could... Um, it doesn't matter. I haven't got to res it. Yeah. I just need, it just needs to be there. So um, maybe I should spend a turn installing like three ice and R&D. Uh, I did do that. See, I if, that was, if, that, if that's a Sansan -San Astro... Oh, yes. Yeah, so install you a card could, on this You could remote. score four points. Could be a CVS on Astro. Yeah, but if you did, oh, no, San if you did advance, sorry. advance, res, res the Sansan, you've got I, a click left, a, 
a team sponsorship file with two extra accounts, which you can easily yeah. score. Yeah. Whenever it's Sansan, you don't even need your click. Yeah. So if you can score a Sansan off an Astro now with a BN in hand, you, you win the game in one turn. You can four points. That's it, if I've got a BN in Yeah, that's true. Um, I think it's an exploder from memory, uh, and I didn't want to waste both the Sansan and the thing on it. Uh, so he did use the DDoS to check. I wonder if he's worried it was a Jackson on a Sansan or something. So just take the exploder. Uh, I feel like maybe. Well, I feel like maybe he could have trashed Sansan in that position because um, that's that is definitely an out of mine. Score yep. two gens in one turn. Yep. Um, the, when you've got the Astro counter, if you can not yeah. use that and get another Astro counter, yeah, all you need is, and you've got enough money now as well. You need an. If you now had an Astro and a Beal in hand, you win the game. I think. Yeah. So I think at this point I was just checking for clot. I had a, there was a lot of his deck there. I think I had a good idea. Um, I was trying to work out what influence uh, I'd seen spent. Now, obviously, there was a lot of influence I hadn't seen because there's a lot of cards on bookmark. <laughs> so there's right. mediums and keyholes and stuff on there. Um, I think I came to the conclusion at this point that he probably wasn't running clot. Um, no, I, don't think I do does. have the CVS, but yeah. Um, oh, I think. Uh, I wonder if there's an argument to install and say advance an Astro or something on that remote to threaten the score. I don't know. So like I said, I think you 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 can. So I've got a double team. So um, I'm hoping this is Sansan Sand for my own benefit. Uh, an, Astro. Off, an Astro, sorry. I'm some bad accounting. It was all above board. I did get it right. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, so now, if you have a three for two in hand, you win the game. Yes. Which you uh, don't. Which I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I have two teams. Uh, yeah, it'd be nice to have a BL or even in the bin. I mean, yeah. pff, you just need one click to score or a free install. Yeah. Like yeah. That's it. And with two Astro accounts and a rare Sand Sand. Team sponsorship can do that. Yeah. Uh, so in fact, what with team sponsorship, I installed a new remote. I only have one card in hand, which was I want to say Jackson off the top of my head. Um, but it did draw me a card, which was Ice, which I installed with the second team sponsorship. I actually resed it out of force of habit. There were there are no installables in the bin. It's all right. economy, so it's kind of dumb. I just it was a force of habit to res it. But in fact, I did draw an installable card. And adding that fourth piece of ice on R&D did give Dave pause for a minute. He was absolutely ready to go. Um, I just realised, if you had the other Astro in hand and the Beal, you could have scored six points in turn, I think. You could score a lot of points in a turn with team sponsors and Sansan. They're yeah. really good. <laughs> it's true. You could do a lot of mad stuff. Yeah. I mean... Um, I had a game recently against uh, Dave Holland, which to my shame I lost, but um, only got one credit, which involved... Uh, having multiple Astros and Sans Res Sansans kicking around and team sponsorship and I if I was like if I score this I can install an agenda out of my hand the breaking news to win. But I don't have it, so I had to like fast track to get it first. Yeah. And then have to biotic to get the click back and score the Astro or whatever and install it. And unfortunately I was one credit short. I miscounted how many because I need to install I need to advance with my last click and I realised I ran out of money. Very annoying. So, um, yeah, it's a layer off for me. But you can, it turns out, score quite a lot and do some fairly, uh, I don't know, complex combos. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Dave's still having to think about it, but let's be honest, go. he has to do it this turn. I've got two Astro Cameras. Even if he trashes the Sunset, I can before, before aggressively draw. So yeah. he's, he can get rid of one, two. He's one clone chip or false echo short, and he needs to install yeah. Keyhole and Medium, which costs seven. Yeah, ten credits. Yeah, and he hasn't got DDoS down, so he has to install that. And that's he three. does to ten. his credit and my lack of credit. He does have or an agenda already, so he does only need to get five points in that yeah. out this turn, not seven. But he would need to pop. So he'd have fifteen credits. He would need to spend all his money. He needs to click for credit or pop the um, pop the technical writer, and then install full seco keyhole medium a DDoS, which is four clicks, five clicks. He has to pop the. Yeah, uh, the technical writer. So he's already six click, five or six clicks down, just getting set up, and he's got next to no money. So he used SMC to install a medium on my turn, on the quarter right. turn. Save more credit, I a guess. Click. That's good. Uh, and a click, yeah. Although he did sort of spend two credits to install that. He does pop all three hyper drivers, so we're going to get the. Yeah, I've got to say, very intimidating reign of tokens that he uses to uh, track his absurd number of clicks. Yeah, right. interesting to see. So he's got... Um, Just wondering if there's any pieces left in the, to in the well. stack or whether they're all on bookmark. Uh, yeah, he doesn't have a lot of cards left in his stack, so... Um, yeah, but if that's the last one to keyhole, that would be really annoying. Yeah, but if what what's something needs... DDoS? Yeah, that's it. Um, it would be nice to um, force a DDoS use, I'm not sure. 
The good thing about the bookmark before the last turn is you don't really have to worry so much about damage during this turn for, against Shinteki. The snares and shock and things. That's true. You can you can deal with that a bit better. Um, yeah, so uh, he does have a second uh, Pulse Echo, which means that with two Pulse Echoes and a clone ship and DDoS, there it is, he can uh, get into RMB. He's got the keyhole as well. So he's down to, hold on, I do have a detailed transcript of this particular turn, because <laughs> it's quite evolved. Um, he does uh, have 12 clips remaining after installing the DDoS. Um, Seems enough. He is, uh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't want to disparage Dave at all, but I do like to point out uh, errors. He did underpay by one. Yeah, I was about to say. I thought and he he's now on zero. Yeah. yeah, I so, thought he needed to click for credit. I don't know. I mean, he could have popped the technical writer. Yeah, he needed. He he, he would have gone. That would have been poorer later. Whatever. Yeah, he would have been one click. Um, yeah, I thought he needed to spend one click clicking for credit. To be honest, it actually doesn't matter. He also. Um, uh, Mr. Click later in his turn, so whatever. Just pretend to click for credit and we're yeah. good. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, he would kind of. He just popped the technical right before he saw the DDoS, right? And that would have been. Yeah, DDoS doesn't yeah. even anti technical right. So. That's true. Uh, although he might install other things like, say, false seconds. Yeah, there's going to be at least one of them. So, um, he's going to use it and then install another false echo. Yep, yeah, so he's actually got three of them now. Um, so. I have double ice HQ, and he does know that he needs to go there before he attacks R and D. So this oh, is right. also so that's working. Why. This so is also working in my favour. He needs yeah. an extra full echo. Um, yes, yeah, so this is also helping me out, and it's a, just another reason why I wish I hadn't put the ice on archives. If it had been on HQ or something, that would have been a lot more effective. But because uh, it's it's, yeah. it's blank, right? on either of the other two servers, he needs yeah. um, hell even the Sansa, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it would force him to do something more than just do us. Um, yeah, yeah. It would so, cost him another full echo, which he doesn't have right now. So, so here we go. He's going to run HQ. He's going to use full echo to bounce that piece of ice, which can't be raised. And then DDoS will prevent me from raising the inside ice. Well, that's just the upgrade. Which we all know is a CVS. Yeah. Just trashes it. Seems good. Um, and he's going to access mine as well. Yeah. Yeah. I've got loads of them. So he does need to win this turn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely needs to win this time. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, the win is pretty trivial. Uh, he's going to run uh, R&D though. He's going to use a bunch of false echoes and clone chips and all kinds of stuff. I just put more up to uh, get into R&D. And keyhole. So keyhole number one. One token on medium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's annoying. You can't get it to the very end because there's a CBS in there. <laughs> That's true. There is a CBS in the bin. And you, well, you, that could be a Jackson. He, uh, yeah, so that's it. There is one remote he hasn't checked. So he now suddenly realizes wait, I didn't check that remote. This is from the last team sponsorship install. Right. Uh, came out of hand. Uh, he's suddenly aware there might be Jackson. It is. So I did, use it. I did the obvious thing. <laughs> Put in uh, Astro and I think a bunch of CVSs. See, I think in that scenario, you just don't check Jacks for Jacksons and you keyhole non agendas and just. Win them on medium turns, right? Maybe, but do you shuffle? Do you use Jackson to shuffle stuff in? Yeah, on agendas sure. in. But you're still using Jackson for the shuffle with the medium. So if you sure, okay. if you get five counts on yeah, medium so. and then did C C five, C six, C seven, C eight, and they're always fresh. Yeah, you, you're going to see like the whole deck. Yeah, you don't really need to hit the agendas. So here's an exploder. Yeah, uh, yeah. So here's an exploder with the second keyhole. So if he's got three, he's got quite lucky. If he's got three Nosferatu in his hand, he could win that way. Right? Disaster. He's going to keyhole again. He's, he hasn't. <laughs> got three Nosferatu. Oh, yeah. Fifty minutes. Okay, so maybe I, it doesn't really matter at this point. If I no, get on the turn, I'm going notoriety. to win. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so he has three clicks remaining on this turn. He did spend a lot of clicks setting up. So yeah, um, quite a few. That's one of the. As I say, one of the ways to combat. So when it gets to his turn, he if he's, him a if he's, bit yeah, if it's less effective because he has to set up. So he does run archives for an exploder around fifteen minutes, and with two clicks remaining, double notoriety. Yeah. Uh, uh. He didn't even medium run. <laughs> no, he didn't. He actually didn't. He uh, gathered onto the intimidating counters, but he was run off because. And I, I feel, I feel justified in being feeling a bit hard done by. He did hit an agenda on every keyhole run. Right. Yeah. yeah. Though he screwed up the first two because he. He, he did he one. Keyhole an Astro and then had to run the Jackson. To yeah, back he in. forgot the Jackson could be there. Yeah, um, yeah. So um, that's close. Yeah, well done, Dave. Yeah, he took <laughs> every <laughs> single took every single click and uh, he did. Yeah, uh, that's true. He, he won the last click, and I absolutely was going to yeah. win unless he had a clock out of nowhere. 
which is possible. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. So What's following. With it? Do you have that fast track in your hand? Turn before. I think I drew it from installing. So I think I only had the Jackson in hand when I scored. Right. And installed it. No, wait. I must have. I got two cards in hand. It's possible I had it. I think I didn't have the clicks. I'm just thinking if you have fast track and another fast Astro. Place. And then you install Advance, yes, Astro right. Token, Res, San San. You've got team. no clicks. I've got Team. Team the other Astro. I think in. I would have been out of clicks, though. Yeah, I'm just thinking. I, I think, think I've got one click short. So you can fast track. The problem with fast track is you obviously uses a click. Yeah. So if I had a, I had the money. So if I had a Bartik as well, I could have done some mad stuff. But so you'd have been. Yeah. So if you'd have fast track the other Astro, you'd have been one Astro counter short. You had two Astro counters. You'd have ended up on one Astro counter if you'd have fast tracked first. But you could have installed. Yeah, you'd have been a quick shot. Yeah, I could have fast tracked and saw an Astro. Yeah, I don't know. So maybe, um, maybe what I could have done is with a fast track and an Astro in hand, I could have um, pretended I didn't have it. Yeah. Spent a turn drawing up. I, I don't know. Um, setting up to try and get four points in a turn. Yeah, I'm not if you'd sure. Have fast track the Astro. I need an extra then, click and then though. Left it there. You'd yeah, be fine. If you had two, if you had two agendas in hand, you'd have won. So the yeah, so the, there were a couple of mistakes I think I made in that game, and I think scoring the breaking news was one of them. I used it. I, I had it in my hand, and I thought I might as well score it because um, you need to score quick because I can find yeah. a team sponsorship. I need to get on with it. But actually, scoring three points is really strong, and uh, maybe not just against me, but at least playing against me. Dave has altered his strategy. He now goes off on four points instead of five right. since I've done it to him before. Um, so uh, I think it's. Is strong. I should have kept it in hand. I know he's not going to run. He's not going to try and get agendas until the turn. Yeah. So I know it's safe, especially with two ice on HQ. You've taught me a lot about the the. the I never think about the double scoring, but it happened to me in the cut really in the cut the other day, and I like, I was like, I think if I draw an Astro, I win because I can score <laughs> yeah. four points. Yeah, yeah. And I was sitting there, I thought about it for ages, and I was like, I'm doing it. I'm using both senses. I was yeah. like, I'm drawing <laughs> seven cards. And I was like, if yeah. any of these are Astro, I win the game. Yeah. And yeah, and I did. I was like, I think I win. Well, I'm that, that's go it. Through so it slowly. It's, it's hard to, it's hard to kind of reconcile because you've got cards like Astro that mean you can advance cards for no clicks, and you've got cards like Team Sponsorship that mean you can install cards for no yeah. clicks. That's literally all you have to do to score agendas. Yeah. And you've got so Sand Sam, which means it got enough of them. Two, yeah. It two advancements. You've got enough of them in combination. It, yeah. You can do that. You can be like, oh, I guess I'll score this agenda. Yeah. You can fast which track means, first and all kinds of which stuff. Which means that Ast the Astro breaking news is super easy because you use the Astro counter from the Astro. Yeah, and the that's fact it. you score oh, yeah, the Astro, it's all the breaking news, and then on there's the Sansan. No, there's not even anything complicated. Yeah. You need one Sansan and one T Swan strip. Yeah. If the agenda you're scoring is an Astro, best yeah. agenda in the game, then you can score breaking news yeah. off back of it for free. Yeah. Why not? Um, yeah, no, it's. Um, during that game I played against you where I suggested you scored the bill, it was definitely the bin that you'd hidden early, and you yeah. did. Yeah. Because I'm an idiot. And then you had six team sponsorship installs. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, good. Crazy. So crazy, yeah, it, crazy it stacks. Day. You know, you could do. I, I'm. It's a shame you can't. Oh, well, stack sand sands. Obviously, you can't. But you can't have some installable, stackable effect like that to just do bonkers stuff. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. So um, we've seen Dave and Dave's deck a few times, but at last, he. I took one for the team. At last, he's won a game <laughs> yeah, on well camera. Done. Well done, Dave. Yeah, uh, no, he's yeah, done well. He won, he won like two, three sword champs for that get deck. So it's. Um, he told me recently he was thinking of giving it up, but I don't believe it. <laughs> I took it to Worlds and for everyone, but it wasn't wow. it was far from refined at that point. That was uh, so he has a fairly detailed kind of versioning number system or whatever yeah. to keep track of his changes. He's on, I want to say four point something now. Yeah, his, his latest changes are a bit different. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> it's scary now. You monster, it's really yeah. scary. Yeah, yeah, it's quite annoying. Yeah, um, but yeah, it's. Uh, I was about to say it's effective. Is it effective as a deck? I mean, yeah, it wins. It wins. It, does, it has it a huge win wins. ratio. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, he's had a lot of practice. He's tried some different IDs. Um, he keeps coming back to Kate. Haley's good, as you say. Haley trying it with artist colonies. Artist trying colony, it with other yeah. tech. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really interesting. Deck. I guess he knows it's his ingenious. matchups. I don't know what matchups uh, he would most fear with that deck. Maybe it's fast advance or some kind of rush. Maybe like yeah. A I mean, Harp is obviously really bad. Harp. Um, um, did he for that employee strikes? And then did he have employee strike all? He, yeah. Okay. Sure. Yeah. And then you've also got the Gentechi problem where you don't have film critic and if you can't actually get you in I've seen him lose it on side games one. a lot you have one film critic right? yeah you can but You've even 13 then 13 clicks you can <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah get genders uh, also if you go early you can leave an agenda on film critic and say I'm going to win next time yeah um, 
snares are a problem. Uh, CVS is a problem. Archangels are a problem. Archangel, yeah, that's good. Well, yeah. doesn't matter at that point. Pick up the media. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fair. So yeah, there is there, there's bad matchups, but if you and then obviously ABTs and stuff in HB can res high sometimes. So there, I think all the factions pose him some threat. Uh, mm. Wayland, I don't think he's ever lost. He's never lost a Wayland game. Ah, they can't kill you if you don't run. Is it always? Um... You're talking like murder or blue sun stuff. Yeah, or yeah. just any Wayland because huh. they can't res ice. They don't even have CVSs. They don't have traps that trigger on access. And, and they can't you know, score. And they can't score out without service. <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah. and 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 if you don't run, they can't kill you, which is yeah. removed one of their win conditions. So Wayland is a really good matchup for him. But the okay. other three factions all have their own unique threats, which is either speed, traps, or um, resing ice. So. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. Uh, yeah, so um, it's a lesson for all viewers that want to beat Dave. Yeah. <laughs> now talks about through that. Sometimes what I know people who've brought Wayne in them in, like, I, I heard you were coming and I've put Executive Bootcamp in my deck, like, because you were coming to this tournament. Yeah. yeah. And um, was it uh, Laurie who faced Dave at, I want to say, all the Shot Store Championships? And he just, he, he'd heard what he had to do and he was putting Caprice on HQ. He fired every ABT. Yeah. You know, he, it's on he stream, knew... the Dark Sphere stream as well in the cut. Oh right. He, okay. he he Laurie in that tournament hit hit a Janus something like four times off an ABT. He had one Janus in his deck and every time he found an ABT he hit Janus. And he just Janus threw it an R and D and then sat back like I've won. And he was taking his time and then yeah, Escher moved the Janus to HQ yeah. and just destroyed him. It was on stream as well, the chaps got wild. Yeah, good. Um yeah, so it's an interesting deck. It's it's a part of our meta now. So Yeah, yeah. Regrettably <laughs> it is. <laughs> um yeah, good. All right. So, uh, in our next video, we're going to have another uh, small taster. It was actually from a draft tournament. Mm. Um, it was an all-Oxford matchup, in fact, at the draft tournament that we, we ran in April. It was the end of April. Uh, and it was between Guy Patching of oh. Oxford and Phil Turner, also of Oxford. Uh, so, those guys are uh, they're both good guys. They come down to our GMKs quite a lot. Yeah, yeah we've seen them quite a lot. Draft is, draft is a bit different, though, isn't it? It's very... It's it's different. <laughs> it's hard to do. You're building decks on the fly. The draft itself is always interesting. Yeah, I did uh, terribly. You were there that day. I, did I I recorded but didn't actually play. Uh, I did awful. I thought I drafted really good decks. I've done okay at drafts in the past, mm. and I kid you not, paintbrush surfer op. <laughs> like four four I think four in five rounds, I got destroyed by paintbrush surfer. Oh wow! There were so many surfers in the draft. Oh, there are. Yeah. Oh, okay. So and, you used her hardwise, right? That's yeah, right. yeah. And the the newest one. Yeah. And yeah, I just. I was like, I, I actually can't. I and can't it had the, it had the IDs can't. as well. Yeah. Was that an interesting mechanic? Yeah, I sort of forgot that my... You just pick whatever you have the most of, I guess? Yeah, I used the Shaper one. I used Shaper and HB, and I did have more of those cards. And I remember the Shaper one, because drawing Shaper cards was so Shaper good. Shaper was good, yeah. But I forgot that the HB one was a thing for so long. Essentially, it gives you a museum of history it's, on the board. Uh... Does it shuffle into R and D? Shuffles an archives to R and D, but I just forgot it was a thing. I think Museum of History is not a broken card when all your cards are crap, like <laughs> or it, when it's your ID and you've got maximum one. <laughs> yeah, but when you combo Museum of History is particularly good when you're comboing. Like I'm bringing the but, snare back or whatever. Like I'm doing something that you've yeah. worked hard to. When, when you've just got a picks, load of rubbish yeah. cards, oh, I could and pick, you're like, yeah. I could put another rubbish card back in, or I'm really poor. I'll put that Eve back in because that's yeah. all I've got for economy. So yeah, okay, yeah, it was alright. Um, the, the yeah, the IDs didn't change much. Yeah, okay. All right, yeah. Um, I think it'd be interesting if you had to draft the IDs. Yeah, because you didn't. You just dra did the draft and then picked from all the IDs freely. Yeah, no you get them all in the, in the, in the start pack. So. But yeah, just okay. random OP IDs that were draftable would be really interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Start the game with 15 credits. You'd be like, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's true. And you have to decide when you take it as well, yeah. if it's in the packs. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Uh, great. All right. Well, I'm looking forward to that. Yep. So I will just remind all our viewers that they can find all of our videos at neoreadinggrid.co.uk and they can find us on Twitter and on Facebook and also on Patreon if they'd like to support the channel. Thank you, Joe, for helping me commentate. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.